It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl. Good to have you here today. Two outstanding middle schools here to play our game. Let's meet them right now. First from Greenbelt Middle, which is please say hello to Calder Baldwin Bot, Chidema and Buisi Aluavu, and Ryan and Bushi and Dip. And from Samuel Ogle, our team, say hello please to Alexis Asuke, Mitchell Smith, and Austin Akori. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with easier questions on the left worth five and 10 points, tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. End of the two rounds, we will have a winner to move on and possibly become the last of our four semifinalists in this year's middle school competition. Let's make sure everything works. Let's go to the red team and green belt. Would you please try your buzzer? Chittima. All right, looks and sounds good. And let's go to the green team. Samuel Ogle Mitchell, would you try yours? It too looks and sounds good. You guys ready? Let's do this thing. Congratulations, your school's picked you as the best of the best. You've won already just by being here. Let's have a good game. We go alphabetically. So uh, green belt, G before S, Chitima, let's play the game. Give me a category and a number. Body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, onions are sometimes called lacrimose vegetables because it is named for, that name comes from what glands that produce your tears. Green belt. The tear ducts. Not the tear ducts, no. Onions are called lacrimose vegetables because what glands produce the tears that are produced when you cut those onions? Lacrin glands. Say it again. Lacrin glands. Close. It's lacrimal. Lacrimal glands. Close. No points though. Try again. Red. Um, Zupere for fifteen. Zupere for fifteen points. Teams. Unmated penguins will sometimes steal eggs from a neighbor to brood them. Brood is a synonym for what other word? Green belt. To raise. To raise them. Not to raise them, no. Stealing an egg from a neighbor, if you're an unmated penguin, you will then brood it. Brood is a synonym for what other word? Fertilize. No, incubate, incubate. You sit on the egg to get it to hatch. Try red. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, recently the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland was the site of a discovery of two new subatomic particles, both of them six times larger than what positively charged subatomic particle. Proton. Green belt. Proton. Proton, that's it. All right, now we're on the board. Go red. Science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, transparent squids have nothing to fear from predators except for the fact that their internal organs are not transparent. They are what kind of O condition state? Green belt. Opaque. They're opaque, so yeah, they can be picked up by the predators. They compensate by having them very long, so hopefully they're not noticed as much. Good answer. Go green belt. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, turtle grass lives underwater 
where there are no bees to pollinate it, and yet it is still this kind of plant. Even though it reproduces asexually most of the time, it is still this kind of plant, even though it is not pollinated under the water by bees. It's a flowering plant. It's a flowering plant. There's just nothing down there. The waves move the pollen around. Try again, Red. Zoop. Green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, to propagate a rare fern, botanists recently cut off the part that produces these reproductive units on a fern. Samuel Ogle. What do you think? The ovaries. Not the ovaries, good try. What did they cut off this rare fern, the reproductive unit, in order to save it? What do you think, guys? Spores. Spores. That's it. Absolutely right. They cut off the spore case. That's it. Should Go. Rid. Let's get physical for 15. Get physical for 15 points. Teams, I know you'll know this one. The New Horizons spacecraft. Samuel Ogle. Uh, was just recently awakened to snap a few pictures and is heading towards Pluto. Give me more information. I hate to deny you the points. Tell me more. Um, it is heading towards Pluto. It was just awakened and it is taking pictures. It is on its way right now. Oh, you're so close, Mitchell. Greenbelt, you can thank Samuel Ogle for this if you get it, because it has not been active, this New Horizons spacecraft, in the long journey to Pluto, where it is about to take pictures. It is described as being in what same state as bears when they are in a deep sleep. Hibernation? Yeah, that's it. Okay, go red. Thanks, Calder, for your assist. Come on, Chidma. Dateline for science for 15. Dateline science for 15 points. Teams, what famous Greek not only designed giant screws to be used in flood control, he also supposedly came up with a death ray using a mirror to destroy ships approaching a harbor. Green belt. Archimedes? It is Archimedes. The Archimedes screw and that giant mirror that President Obama challenged the people on TV to see if they could actually prove it to be correct. All right, go. Red. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, the macula is the area of your eye where you find no cones and none of these other kinds of photosensitive cells. Green belt. Rods. Rods. There are no rods there either. The ones that are sensitive to black and white, cones being sensitive to color. Nicely done. Thank you, Ryan. All right. The buzzer has rung. We've come to the end of the first round of play. Our score right now, Greenbelt 140, Samuel Ogle at 50. We'll be back with more Science Bowl in just a moment. Don't go away. Nice to have you here today. Thanks for being with Science Bowl. Six outstanding young people here, and there's some experience on this panel here today. If you've been watching Science Bowl in years past, you might recognize some of them. Let's go over to Greenbelt first. All veterans of Science Bowl. Chittima back for her third year, and Ryan, I know you were here last year, and Calder, you were here when you were in the elementary school with Berwyn Heights. So, uh, you're doing well, and I can see why. You seem relaxed. You know how to play our game. Nice to have you here. Chinma, tell us about your school. Greenbelt Middle, relatively new school, huh? Yeah. How is it? Do you like it? Yeah. At first, when I first got there, I was like, wow, this is a really big school because the school I went to before, Glenarden Woods, only had one floor, and <laughs> it was easier to get around. And now this school has a whole bunch of teachers, a whole bunch of 
classrooms, two floors. It was kind of overwhelming, but once you get to know the people at the school, get a hang of the, get a hang of using the school, yeah. it's actually really fun, and it's a really fun place to be. Oh, that's just great. Who's your principal there? Uh, we have Mr. Covington. Mr. Covington, and he's a relatively new principal, yes. I believe, because Mr. Tweedy had been there before. And the sponsor of your team is Dr. Gupta. Yes. And I know he takes science well very seriously. We appreciate all his support over the years. And did you have any alternates on your team? Uh, we had Elias Herrera and Ilham Kabir. Wonderful. We'll bring them out in a few moments with Dr. Gupta. And you were telling me what a great place Greenbelt is. And tell me about yourself. What do you hope to do someday? I want to become a pediatric cardiac surgeon. Yeah. And you're, you're a very disciplined young lady. And you know an awful lot of science. And I have no doubt uh, whatever you want, you're going to get. And uh, it's nice to have you here. You play a really nice game. Ryan, tell us about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? Oh, uh, well, I read. I play my trumpet. I play some computer games, yeah. console it, games. Does the school have a band or a concert or yes. an orchestra? That's great. You play your trumpet. And what do you want to do someday? I want to be a mobile operating systems developer for Google. Oh, you have this all mapped out, don't you? Huh? Uh, that sounds like a, a great place to work. It's certainly one of the best employers today, and it's not going to go anywhere. Calder, nice to have you with us. So you were here with Berwyn Heights. How did you do back then? Good, I guess. Yeah? And uh, now you're back again. Uh, Dr. Gupta chose you for this team. What do you like about the Science Bowl? Why did you come back again? Uh, last, the main reason I wasn't here last year is because my school didn't have it. Uh -huh. And so I was sad about that. But I think it's fun to have the heart racing like this. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nerve wracking, isn't it, to be here? You know, and uh, you try to act cool and collected, but underneath everyone is just kind of, oh my goodness. How am I going to get this next answer? Uh, you like you collect baseball cards, don't you? Yes. And you have a Ken Griffey card that you really like? Yes. Yeah, boy, that's just that's a great thing to do. When I was a kid, you used to get bubble gum stuck in there. I don't know if they still do that when you give uh, when you get baseball cards. Nice to have you with us. Thank Samuel, you. oh, you're welcome. Samuel Ogle, nice to have you guys here. Mitchell, first time on the show as a Samuel Ogle student, but you were here before with Yorktown, weren't you? Yes. Yeah. How'd you do back then? Um, I did pretty well, but I was a little bit too fast on the buzzer. Ah, so you're trying to learn from your mistakes, huh? That's what we yeah. do in life, and you're playing a nice game. You came real close on that Pluto question, too, and I know you're going to get them in the second half here. Uh, who's the principal at Ogle? Um, currently, Miss Marshall. Wonderful. And the sponsor of your team is the one and only Miss Maxwell, and she has been sending us great teams for many, many years. She has some, come so close to the championship. Samuel Ogle was a past champion when you were in elementary school, but never as a middle, and I know she wants that to happen. Uh, tell me, you had a whole list of alternates, didn't you? Can you give me their first names? Um, there's Dara, there's Lucia, there's Avni, there's Michaela, and there's Samantha. Wow, you almost have two shadow teams out there. <laughs> we'll bring them out in just a few moments here. Tell me what you like about Samuel Ogle. Um, it's a really nice school. It's very connected. Uh, you can get, you can get, be involved in a lot of different ways. Like I have recycling duties, so at every lunch I like, go around and I get recycling bins and I go mm. and empty them. And all the teachers are really nice, and you have some really good teachers like Mr. Williams, Miss Maxwell, Miss Pumphrey. That is great. Boy, and they appreciate all that. That's like a nice commercial for Samuel Ogle. <laughs> Thanks, Mitchell. Uh, tell me what you want to do when you get older. Um, I'm not really sure, but I know I want to pursue a career in science. I'm thinking maybe becoming a theoretical physicist or a space engineer or a wow. rocket engineer. Serious young man. Good to have you. Good captain, too. Alexis, nice to have you with us today. Hi. You're welcome. Tell me, uh, you like to cook, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, this young lady, she says spaghetti and meatballs is her specialty. Would you ever like to be a professional cook? Um, not really. I just like doing it for fun and at home. Yeah, no, it's, it's nice, and especially when you make something and it's appreciated by other people. Boy, you're going to go back in that kitchen again and keep trying. What do you want to do, do you think? I want to be a science research assistant. Wow. So you've got that all planned out. What do you like about science? I just like how it's fun and I like how it's not concrete and how you, there are many different ways to explore something. Absolutely right. And just when you think everything is known, you realize how much you don't know because there's so much out there. You have a great smile. Looks like you're having a good time and we're happy to have you. Austin, good to have you here. Tell us the Austin story. What do you want to do someday? You have a definite plan too. Well, I want to go to Stanford University. And then after that, I want to be a systems analyst for the NSA. The NSA, the National Security Agency, much in the news these days. Uh, our country's safety uh, in many ways in the hands of the NSA. Uh, tell me what you do in your spare time. In my spare time, I read research about programming and technology, and I play soccer. 
Oh, that's great. So you're a busy young guy. All right, let's get back to the game. Samuel Ogo at 50, Greenbelt 140. Last correct answer from the red team. Chitima, will you start us out? Zoop parade for 20. Zoop parade for 20 points is a visual question to start the second round. Look at the monitor teams, and you will see a couple of rhinoceros there. Rhinos and horses and tapers all belong to an order of mammals called Perissodactyla, which means all of them have an odd number of these. Green belt. Toes. Toes, absolutely right. Odd toes. Dactyl was your clue there. The artiodactyls, like the giraffe, they have an even number of toes. Go red. Body systems for 25. Body system for 25 points, teams. Ebola is also known as hemorrhagic fever because its victims do this. Samuel Ogle. Diarrhea. Yeah. Um, they have diarrhea and. Uh, uh, migraines. Mm, those could be some of the symptoms, but that's not the reason why it's called hemorrhagic fever. Good try, Greenbelt. Hemorrhagic fever, a synonym for Ebola, because the victims do what? They bleed. They bleed, yes, they bleed out. Hemorrhage was your clue there. Go red. Zuparade for 25. Zuparade for 25 points. Teams, unlike birds and reptiles and mammals, unborn or unhatched amphibians, do not have this protective A-initialed sac around them. What is that A-initialed sac that surrounds the young of mammals and birds and reptiles, but not unhatched or unborn amphibians? A-initialed, tough question for 25 points. Come on, Samuel Ogle, get on the board here. Um, we do not have an answer. Okay, good try anyhow. Green belt, what does the A stand for? It's the amniotic sac, the amniotic sac. You've probably heard of it, but it's not something I'm sure that it's prominent in what you've read. Uh, go red. 20 points. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, Thomas Edison won a lot of things in life, but he lost the battle to deliver electricity by direct current because it loses a lot of its power along the way. So today we deliver electricity not by direct current, but this way. Green belt. Alternating. Current. Alternating. AC instead of DC. That's it. Good. Red. Signs potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points, teams. The t these tiny L initialed batteries that are found in your cell phone and medical. De Samuel Ogle. Lithium. Lithium. Lithium ion batteries. Thank you. Thanks for the assist from Austin. Go green. Um, science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points, team. Science teachers across the country are now pushing even harder for the study, the collection, and the analysis of these that are often displayed on charts and graphs. Green belt. Statistics. Statistics. Give me another word for Data. statistics. Data. Data. Good. Nicely done. Good. Green, or excuse me, green belt. Red. Dateline signs for 20. Dateline for 10, 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. There is a new romantic comedy playing on Broadway all about the life of this scientist. The name of the play is The Laws of Emotion. Greenbelt. Talk among yourselves, Ogle, in case they have to come to you. Isaac. Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton, like the laws of motion, the laws of emotion. You, you heard exactly what I wanted you to hear. Go red. Green things for 25. Green things for 25 points, teams. In England this past summer, a man sealed himself inside of a giant terrarium. He was in there, and when the oxygen supply started to go down, what did he have to do to gin up the plants to photosynthesize more? What did he have to do? Um, he blew on the plants. Okay, because? And that way they could get more carbon dioxide. Absolutely right. He was in there. He had an exercise bike. He was riding. <laughs> more CO2, more oxygen for him. Go green. Um, let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25 points. Big one in that category. Teams, tough question. Gold is almost forever. It takes an awful lot to break down gold. If you mix together, though, something called aqua regia, hydrochloric acid and nitric acid, the gold will begin to break down to decay. What C initial term describes what that process? 
What is that, Samuel Ogle? Corroding. Yeah, corroding. That's what I want to hear. Nice answer, Green. Go. Um, Dateline signs for 25. Dateline signs for 25 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Botanists have now genetically manipulated this organism, which used to number 4 billion trees back in the early 1900s because a blight destroyed them back then. Now these trees are starting to come back. Trees that produce a nut, a nut that we roast on an open fire. Green belt. What you want to say, green belt? Oak trees. Not oak trees. What kind of nuts are roasted on an open fire, sung in a Christmas carol from trees that were devastated by a blight? Chestnut. Yeah, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. That's it for 25. We got ourselves a game. 245 Greenbelt, 150 Samuel Ogle. They're coming back. Go green. Signs potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Iron deficiency is usually something that doctors are concerned about, but in Africa, iron deficiency protects children from the severe version of this green belt. Malaria? Yeah, malaria. You don't get the severe version if you don't have much iron. Go, green belt. 275. Body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, type 2 diabetes is known as maturity onset because it develops later in life, but type 1 diabetes, because it affects younger people, is described by this J initial adjective. Green belt? Juvenile. Juvenile diabetes. Good, yes. Green belt. Zoo parade for 10. Zoo parade for 10 points. Teams, what fictitious bird is a hybrid between a female mockingbird? Green belt? A mockingjay. A mockingjay, yes. Yeah, the name of the sequel for The Hunger Games. You are ready for me. Go, Red. Green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, you might call it Earth's natural internet since trees. Connect with each other by roots. Green belt. Roots. Not roots, no. Earth's natural internet, Samuel Ogle, because trees are connected underground by filaments of fungus instead of the World Wide Web. The W stands for what wide web? Water wide web. Wood wide web for trees. Go red. Dateline signs for 10. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, the discovery of Archaeopteryx, the connection, the, the, prove the connection between reptiles and birds was made by what kind of p initial fossil finding scientist? Greenbelt. A, a paleontologist. Yes, ma'am. Paleontologist. Where next? Zoo parade for five. Zoo parade for five points. Teams, what mammal, sometimes called a stoat, was the animal that was the subject of this English rhyme? Up and down the city road, in and out the eagle. That's Samuel Ogle. What do you want to say, Austin? I'll let Austin answer. Austin. Maybe toad. Not toad. No, Greenbelt, let me finish for you. Up and down the city road, in and out the eagle. That's the way the money goes. Pop goes the what? Weasel. Weasel. Good. Go. Body systems for five. Body assistance for five points. Teams, if a man is talking about his son to prove that they are family, he says, that boy is my blank and blank. Green belt. What do you want to tell me? Samuel Ogle. Flesh and bones. Oh, Ooh, close. And blood. Flesh and blood. All right, good. Go green. Uh, let's get physical for five. Get physical for five points. Teams, we have cars that run on gasoline and electricity, but now the newest car, Samuel Ogle. Runs on water. Not water, no. Greenbelt, the newest car runs on this most abundant element in the universe. Yeah, solar power. Hydrogen. Hydrogen cars. Go green. Um, science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points, teams. You do not need to give nitrous oxide to a hyena to get it to do what? Green belt. Laugh. Laugh. Yeah, nitrous oxide is laughing gas. Two questions left. Where? Green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, you, you want to remember somebody because of that old song? You tie a yellow ribbon around what old tree that makes acorns? 
Mm -hmm. Ogle. The acorn tree? No, not the acorn tree. Tie a yellow ribbon around what old tree that makes acorns? Oak tree. Oak tree, yeah. Last question of the game. Green things for five points. I think that was it. <laughs> I think that was the last question, was it not? I had Dateline for five points. All right. Our game is over. We will be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Don't go away. How far would you go to help someone? Would you go to the end of your driveway? Would you cross a street? Would you cross an ocean? Would you go if you could use your knowledge to teach someone? And in the process, maybe learn something yourself. Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed this game at home as much as we did here. A great comeback in the second half by Samuel Ogle. They were a great team. But today's score, the final, Greenbelt 300, Samuel Ogle 155. Greenbelt, congratulations. They're still not smiling. They did win that game. Chidema and Ryan and Calder, they can't believe it yet. Elias, good to have you here. Dr. Gupta, we will see you next time. Super job here today. Alexis, I want to see that nice smile you got over there. Mitchell, you gave it a great shot here. Austin, you came up with some great answers. And look at all those alternates back there. Wave, Darva, Avni, Lucia, Michaela, Samantha, and the one and only Miss Maxwell. You always send us a great team. Thanks for doing this for us, and thank you for being here. We'll see you next time on the Science Bowl. Bye-bye.